switching things up today with the cold brew I made last night. This is coffee I bought in Ethiopia on my way back from Germany to Moss. Apparently they make the best coffee there, so... Do you remember when I made apple cider vinegar in one of my last videos? It's finally done. It's done fermenting. I'm gonna just put a little bit in water and chuck a cup of water as well because this is how you should always start your day, just by hydrating yourself. Because I've just been not drinking any water the whole night. So that's the first thing that goes in my body in the morning. Water and sometimes I add like apple cider vinegar or lemon or something like that. I'm getting interrupted. But that's okay. Let's go and see. This is how she wakes up in the morning. Good morning. Shoshi, Peppa. So, soll ich dich rausheben? Pupu Party is her tea party. That's her favorite game. Okay, Alba is set up for now. Sorry for the noise in the background. I told you guys many times before, this is the water pump. It's super loud and it's not just our water pump. It's all neighbors' water pumps. So finally get to make my coffee, which is the easiest thing, just cold blue and soy milk. This is the only dairy alternative you find here in Kilimani. It tastes pretty okay. Maybe I just don't know the difference, um, because when I went to Germany, the dairy free milks tasted so much better, but it's okay. It does its job. And yes, my hair looks a bit different. I actually tried henna last week and it's still very intense and it turned out very uneven because actually the funny story behind it is I put the dye in my hair and then I had to rinse it out and then I realized our water tank is empty so we had to drive all the way to a different house and rinse it out there and yeah it stayed in a little bit too long life in Moss guys welcome <laughs> reality it just keeps on being exciting from day to day honestly what I eat in a day welcome <laughs> Thanks for being here. Let's enjoy this day together. Let's eat today together. Today is Sunday. I guess I'll see you at breakfast. Okay, I really hope my hair doesn't look too patchy and weird. But anyways, it's time for breakfast. I'm kind of hungry. I took some sourdough bread out of the freezer. But now I realize I don't really feel like bread. I feel more like something fresh. And we actually got these fruits from our aunt yesterday night. We went there for a little walk, we passed by her house, said hi, and like it is with family, <laughs> you don't go home with empty hands. So we got this Pomelo, that's just the only name I know in German. I don't know if it's the same name in English, Pomelo, Pomelo, probably is, and most amazing. I also have some papaya I cut up yesterday. Edson brought me from the beach the other day and I'll probably make like a little fruit salad. It's the pink tie, which is awesome because that's my favorite. Look at this color, guys. I mean... And this is just papaya, oats, and yogurt. Aber, you want a smoothie? Apple. What do you want? Smoothie, mommy, apple. Apple? No, mommy, apple. It is already half past two, and I haven't had anything but the fruit salad this morning in my smoothie, and the coffee, and another half of a coffee that I started drinking, and then I just was so busy so I left it and now it's not cold anymore so I just put it back in the freezer to just cool it down a little bit. I'm just gonna eat the bread I didn't end up eating this morning. Um, I'll probably just put like something quick like peanut butter on it um, because I actually want to bake donuts now. I never really made donuts but I was craving like the sugar donuts. I want to try to bake them. Unfortunately when I went to the supermarket this morning, I couldn't find a donut baking tray. So I ended up buying a muffin tray. I think I'll let Alba have it just to have some activity for her. Are you stealing my bread? Yeah, Alba. This is what we want to make, okay? What is it? Pizza. It's not pizza. Cookies. 
Mm, it's something like a cookie. Donut. Mommy, mommy, donut. We need a flower. Sugar. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, you're in charge of the recipe. I'm gonna go gather all the ingredients. Babes, I need your help. Mommy, mommy. I can't reach the flower pot. That flower pot is all the way in the back. I can't reach it, so I just has to rescue. No, I'm too small. Thank you, flower. What else? Sugar. I actually just bought sugar. We can also use the brown sugar. Baking powder. Cinnamon. Milk. I only have soy milk. And add one egg. Gathered all my ingredients. Okay, Alba, are you ready? Alba, ready. Not two cups of salt, two cups of flour. Okay, good job. One and a half cup of sugar, but the secret is mommy always puts like half of what the recipe says, okay? Because we don't wanna, you wanna sift the sugar, okay? So we take like a cup, I guess. Can you put the sugar in please? Awesome. Put it inside. Mommy, mommy, inside. Felt like I want to bake them just to make them a bit more healthy, but now I'm dipping them in butter, so I wish I had one more. I feel like uneven numbers always look more pretty. Uh, the cinnamon kind of made them a bit dark. Taste test together with. The other half of the coffee I didn't drink early on. While Edson is watching Alba, I'm gonna edit a video. Let's try this thing. It's very sweet. And remember, I use less sugar already. Okay, I just finished the whole donut and I have a little bit of a sugar shock right now. Maybe because I didn't eat so much today. And all I ate was kind of sugary. I had smoothie, I had fruit. I had like a little bit of peanut butter bread, the rest Alba jacked as you saw. Now I have this sugar donut, I really need something savory tonight. Okay guys, time to make dinner, we decided, sit down, sit down. We decided to make Chinese tonight, so we want to make dumplings. I bought this bamboo steamer, so I'm excited to try it out and also I want to make those really amazing noodles. Dumpling recipe from scratch. Four cups of flour, but I think that's a lot. We'll make half. Ooh, eggs. There's our dumpling wrappers. There's some cabbage and spring onion, add some cut up. Garlic, ginger, our meat. I don't know what Vibes is doing over here, but she's enjoying herself. Okay guys, this is the best fried noodles recipe I ever made. Um, I told you I made it like two days ago and it was just so good so I'm craving it again. And I think it will be good with the dumplings. For the basic recipe of this, you um, put oil in a pan, let it get really hot, add spring onion. I also added the rest of the red cabbage uh, now that we still from dumplings. But usually just spring onion, fry it up for 30 seconds and then add Chinese egg noodles that you pre-cooked but you only cook them until they are just like a little bit soft and so you add them you fry it while constantly stirring it um, until they are like getting crispy and brown like you can see here this is actually a bit too dark already but um, yeah and then that's it then you serve it with soy sauce and just like fried onion or something on top Dumplings, steaming hot. I made a dipping sauce. This is rice vinegar, soy sauce, sesame oil, and some chili flakes. Our noodles. If we don't have Chinese takeout in Kilimani, we've got to make it ourselves. <laughs> there we go. Okay guys, the food was really really good. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this, what I eat or what we eat in a day. That's it for today. Let me know in the comments down below if you like this kind of videos as well. 
make sure to subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss out on more videos thank you so much for watching and i see you in the next video Bye.